Hello everyone out there, it's HK Fanatic. Today we're going to be doing a quick review over the uh, Romanian AK-47, the WASR-10 that has had so much uh, has had so much uh, negative uh, criticism of it. I guess. I guess for those that do get a model that's got a problem with the front side post being canted to the left or the right, I guess I could see why they would be a little upset. But in reality, even if it's just only a slight cant to the left or the right, these sights are only going to be so marginally accurate anyway. Remember, the weapon was designed based on a German assault rifle, which was actually the first assault rifle historically ever to be produced for the battlefield, known as the MP43 or the uh, Strongwehr 44. Even to the extended point as to where, even from a, a slightly distant look, they do kind of resemble each other, but even though they are, some of the concepts were taken from that weapon by Kalashnikov to design the, uh, to design his, uh, his rifle. He claims the uh, ideas were entirely uh, uh, based on, on different concepts than what the Russian, or correction, what the German rifle had. Now the German rifle, had a gas piston system that fed from the barrel and cycled the action, exactly the same as a Kalashnikov. It had an extended magazine which could hold more rounds than any bolt action magazine could, and the round that it fired was an intermediate cartridge. The Sturmgewehr fired their standard infantry rifle 7.92 by 5.7 Mauser round neck down to 7.92 by 3.3 what's known as the Kurtz round. Well lo and behold what do the Russians do? They take the 7.62 by 5.4 standard infantry cartridge for the Mosin again and neck it down to 7.62 by 3.9. Well gee that's pretty close and the rounds even look similar if you put them side by side. I don't have one with me right now but anyway on to the, uh, to the other features here. Okay, one of the things you're going to hear the Nightmares people will cry about is trigger slap. Well, that's easily enough corrected by simply purchasing a Tapco G2 trigger. As you can see, this one's already been fitted out with some Tapco goodies. Pistol grip, folding stock, and the Tapco Intrafuse magazines. You can get these for about $10. And another good thing about it is, they will totally eliminate magazine wobble when you use them in the weapon. They fit just as easily as a regular mag and I've had no problems shooting them in this weapon. Now again maybe another AK-47 will have a problem but I haven't had any problems with this one to date. Uh, function's been pretty pretty reliable. I took it apart as soon as I bought it, cleaned it, cleaned out all of the little remnants of cosmoline that were in there and it's uh, functioned flawlessly ever since then haven't had any problems. So I would recommend if you are going to get one just check it out a little. Um, again they say to purchase was closer to the date of 1970 for the Romanians is supposedly a good thumb rule although this one is a 78. Again I say I've had good luck with it. I haven't had any problems and my front post is pretty straight. Including generic flash, uh, well the actual standard flash hider that comes on them. Pistol cleaning rod. So As the saying goes, there's very little you can do to these things to make them not fire. I suppose you could throw them in a pool of hot molten lava and melt them and that would pretty much assure you wouldn't be able to shoot them. But there have been stories of them unburied after being in sand for 50 years. A quick shake out, to, a quick shaking to remove the sand and cycling of the bolt a few times, maybe a little oil, and the weapons fired fine. Fired 30 rounds of mag, 30 round magazine without any problems. So, okay. They may not be the prettiest looking rifles you can get, but as far as effectiveness on the battlefield, they probably get a rating of 10. Whereas an AR, AR family of rifles, M4 slash M16, probably gets between a seven and a half, eight rating at the best. So again, would you rather pay about four or five hundred dollars or go and drop about anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars on an AR clone?
and the choice is up to you. Those who don't have the money, uh, the decision is pretty obvious, I would think. But anyway, you can get them now. they are come down in price a little bit. Some places you can pick up the Romanian for about $314, $15, although I paid almost $500 for this one. Said and done. Um, again, I, ha I had never bought an AK-47 before now. I had bought an, an SKS back in the 80s, and I shot pretty well. I was satisfied with it, but I traded it off for some other for some other uh, guns later. I never kept one. I never, never purchased anything Russian or communist made uh, since then. I am also looking into possibly trying to get a Norinco distributed Chinese AK-47 because those are also supposedly very rock solid reliable. So, until the next module, this is HK Fanatic, out.